from Boston and my question is, how do I perform a station tube function test? Good question. On the GSI Timstar Pro, you can perform the eustachian tube function whether the eardrum is intact or perforated. To perform the eustachian tube function intact test, what we do is a series of three tympanograms. So basically, we are manually adjusting the middle ear pressure to make sure that that eustachian tube is opening and closing. So you place the probe into the ear, you go to the intact or the intact eustachian tube function test, and you press start. The first thing that we do is just a regular tympanogram. When that's completed, we hold the pressure out at positive 400 decapascals and have the patient drink some water. By doing that, the eustachian tube, if functioning properly, should open and close, changing the pressure. When your patient is done swallowing, all the way done swallowing, you press continue and we will do a second tympanogram and hopefully there's a little shift there. Uh, when that is done, when the patient is done swallowing, it will hold the pressure at negative 400 decapascals and have the patient swallow again. Again, this will manually change that uh, middle ear pressure if the eustachian tube is functioning. When they're done swallowing, you press continue and we do perform a third uh, tympanogram with that third uh, condition and pressure. At the end of the test, you will evaluate or interpret based on the shift between the peaks. They're calculated for you and we're looking for a 15 to 20 decapascal shift between any of the two tympanograms. Now, if the, if the tympanic membrane is perforated, you can't obviously do a tympanogram, so we'll do a little different test. In the eustachian tube function perforated test, we're going to put the probe into the ear and we're just going to increase that pressure to positive 400 decapascals and hold it. When you get to the peak pressure of positive 400 decapascals, you're going to have the patient swallow. And when they swallow, the eustachian tube should open and close. So you'll see the tracing at positive 400. When they swallow, the pressure will drop if the eustachian tube opens. And when it closes, the pressure will stabilize again. So you'll have, that do, you'll have your patient do that a couple of times and hopefully see some sort of stair-step uh, result on the screen. If you are going up the positive pressure to positive 400 and suddenly the, uh, ear, the eustachian tube does blow open, the pressure will go back down to zero and try again. If it blows open, it will continue to go down to zero and keep trying to pressurize. That is a normal response.